All right, so I'm just talking to Jack, and he said he hadn't watched the first Jumanji, which was weird. Were you aware of the first <laughs> movie when they offered you uh, this project? Uh, I was, and I loved it. Mm. I, I remember I first watched it when I was probably four or five, when mm. my dad went to Blockbuster, got the VHS, watched it probably five times in a week, and yeah. loved it. Um, I love you know the action, Robin Williams' performance obviously is amazing, but also the the danger, you know, mm. the kind of fear that. Um, this could really happen. It felt very real. It was was very intense. And so when I read the script, I, I loved that aspect of it as well. That it had the comedy and the action, but also the danger was real and the stakes were very high. All right. So as a representative of the audience that's going to see the new one here, uh, what do you think is great about this take on, on Jumanji? Given that you love the first one so much, what do you think the the audience is going to get from this version of it? Well, I think there is so much love for the original, and 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 going into it, we all knew that. And so it was about paying justice to the first one, and and. Uh, in addition to that, I think it was also about um, trying to tell a great story with a great cast. You know, you got Dwayne, Kevin Hart, Jack Black, and Karen Gillan. Um, so, pretty amazing group. Um, and I think the thing I would say is that uh, it is its own film. You got to think of it as its own Jumanji adventure. And mm -hmm. so, for people that maybe aren't familiar with the first one as well, this is uh, totally unique and it's yep. its own thing. Um, and it's just a, a fun story, a fun adventure. And, and uh, I hope people enjoy it as much as we enjoyed making it. So how is it to sort of, in a movie with with Dwayne Johnson, and uh, to sort of come in and be like the badass who shakes things up? Because that's kind of what we saw uh, from your character. We don't know too much because the yeah, they showed us. Yeah, I can't us. say too much because yeah, I'll get so. in big trouble. But uh, <laughs> I mean, working with Dwayne's amazing. He's he's so charismatic, mm. and and the nuances in his performance are are so perfect. You mm. know, and, and uh, he's kind of mastered his thing in a way. Um, that I think you have to really come with your A game because he obviously comes with his. And, mm -hmm. uh, but he's also very encouraging. He's a producer on the project, and nice. uh, you know he's the lead in the movie, so he he, he wants everyone to win and do their best. And um, I think you know it was it was just a great process working with him and the whole cast. Did it feel? I know you've been acting for for a while, uh, and and you've done uh, the Goat is an indie movie, and you've done. But does this feel like the, your first big big movie because of the scale of it and, and shooting on location and all that sort of stuff? Yeah, I think I think it is. You know, I, I, my first real big film as far as the the scale and the budget and the cast and everything. Um, you know, I can the closest thing I can compare it to is probably the Scream Queens. It was, mm -hmm. You know, Ryan Murphy project, big project, um, but but different. And you know, this this is. Uh, was an amazing journey to be on and be shooting in Hawaii for three months was fun and um, yeah so I think I think you know <clears throat> just found a, a way to continue to grow and find great projects and you know kind of get immersed in that okay so if you could pick uh, an avatar to stand in for one of your music videos who would you who, who would you choose to to be a Nick Jonas avatar uh, for you uh, for me yeah like like someone random doesn't have to look like me or anything. No, it doesn't have to look like no. Like if you could get like uh, you know you could get Danny Day Lewis to be Jonas in a music wow. video or something like that. I I'm don't sure know. he'd nail it. <laughs> I'm sure he would. Um, let's see. I would probably say I'd like to see Jack actually be yeah. in one of my videos. I think he would. I think he would nail it. Bring a lot of energy to it. That um, you know Jack Black. That Jack Black thing. How about a Levels remix with Jack in the video? Maybe we're down. Uh, we have a Jumanji yeah. song we've written that we're going to release at some nice. point. Nice. Nice. So very, now you have you can take short. this and make yeah. it happen. Yeah. Uh, what do you get from acting that you don't necessarily get from your creative outlet as mu as a musician? Uh, you know, music comes first. I think in a, in the sense that like it's just been there since I can remember. Mm -hmm. You know, and I think the thing that I get out of acting is that I'm I'm growing a lot each time I do a different project and I'm still trying to learn as much as possible. It's still new in that way. It makes me nervous. You know, it makes me uncomfortable. Like, I think that is a good thing. Mm -hmm. um, and you know, I'm, I'm kind of at the point in my music career where I'm, I'm good. I'm, I kind of handle myself in pretty much any situation. So to be able to mix it up with something where I have to really be, you know, on my A game and on, mm. it keeps me on my toes is fun. What made you uncomfortable about this one, or where did you feel challenged in particular about this particular movie? Um, I, I think you know it's the balance of the, the comedy and the action and mm. getting those nuances right in the performance and. Uh, you know, it is challenging when you're working with such great people as well because they're so on it on that game. you gotta come with your your best and and um, you know and, and just working on something this big too. Production was so big; mm. it's just a lot of moving parts. All right, so you did a show in Puerto Rico not so long ago. What do you remember about when you were not on stage? What did you get to do that was uh, cool on the island? Well, I, I love Puerto Rico. You I do? always have a good time. Yeah, went to Old San Juan. Yeah, I uh, had a few 
tequilas. <laughs> Were so you able to walk around without being mobbed or anything? Yeah, like for that? the most part. Yeah. I mean, kind of went under the radar and just yeah. tried to hang out and have some fun. Um, and the people are great there, so they were they were cool. It was, it's it's just it's such a great place. Well, we're happy to have you. Hope you come back soon. So. Thank you. Nice talking to you.